Hi, I'm Thomas, and I'll be discussing our work in which we propose learning control distributions for MPC using normalizing flows. The learn sampling distribution generates goal-directed and obstacle-aware control sequences. And we additionally propose an approach for adapting the sampling distribution to novel environments. First, I'll give an overview of sample-based MPC. Consider the following navigation problem. We frame this as finding a control sequence that minimizes the expected cost. Popular sample-based MPC methods iteratively update a control sequence using Gaussian perturbations. This process is only as good as the samples. If we now add obstacles, all the samples are high cost, and iteratively resampling results in us becoming stuck in a local minimum. In contrast, samples from our proposed learned sampling distribution are shown on the right, showing qualitatively different trajectories towards the goal while avoiding obstacles. How should we train this sampling distribution? Intuitively, we want a sampling distribution where the likelihood of a sample is related to its cost while maintaining diversity. We formalize this as Bayesian model predictive control. First, we introduce optimality variable O. The goal is then to find a posterior distribution over low cost control sequences. We use variational inference to approximate this posterior, minimizing the KL divergence between our approximation and the true distribution. This results in the following objective, where we minimize the cost of samples while also maximizing the entropy. Now I'll go through our proposed sampling method. The inputs are the start, goal, and environment. We use a variational autoencoder to encode the environment to a latent representation H. We use a normalizing flow as the latest base prior, learned during training. We encode H, the start and goal, to a context vector. The control sequence normalizing flow takes the context vector and transforms normally distributed samples into low cost control sequences. Our total objective is the expected cost of the control sequences, the negative entropy of the sampling distribution, and the VAE loss. Space of environments is extremely high dimensional and we could never cover this space with training data. Thus, we would like to adapt to novel environments. And to do this, we use the VAE. Decomposing the VAE loss, we see that we maximize the expected likelihood under the prior. And we use this prior likelihood as a differentiable out of distribution score. We found that using a normalizing flow prior made this OOD score much more effective. However, we don't want to project the environment arbitrarily towards the training distribution we would still like to encode relevant features of the environment. So we encode the environment with the VAE encoder. We then evaluate our OOD score for H. We use H to generate trajectories, unsurprisingly many are in collision. To do the projection, we then aim to combine the OOD score with the cost on the resulting control distribution. This results in a new environment representation, which can be used for sampling new control sequences. Iteratively running this projection during execution effectively hallucinates an environment that is close to the training distribution while also ensuring the resulting samples are low cost. We incorporate our flow into MPPI, a widely used sample based MPC method. MPPI iteratively updates the control sequence with a cost weighted sum of Gaussian perturbations. We can instead generate sampled control sequences using the flow. We use a combination of both, generating half our samples from Gaussian perturbations and half by using our normalizing flow. We demonstrate our approach on a planar navigation task with double integrated dynamics and a 12 degree of freedom underactuated quadrotor task. In both tasks, we evaluate on challenging novel environments. We additionally evaluate our proposed approach for the quadrotor on environments generated from real world data when our method is trained only on simple artificially generated environments. Our proposed approach shows improved cost and performance over baselines across novel environments for both the planar navigation task and the quadrotor as well as improved performance on two environments generated from real world data for the quadrotor task. The projection step effectively hallucinates obstacles in order to steer the trajectory away from potential collision while ignoring features of the environment which are not relevant for the current MPC task. We've also since extended our approach by incorporating it with another sample based MPC method, improved CEM, and performed an additional experiment with a seven degree of freedom per arm, including using a real robot. Overall, we presented a method for learning a sampling distribution for sample-based MPC, which generates goal-directed and environment-aware control sequences. We additionally propose a method for adapting to novel environments and show that our approach can adapt to challenging real-world environments despite only being trained on simple artificially generated environments.